Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cash Tech. Uh, today's topic is uh, about CT circuit. In this topic, we will see and we will check how CT circuit is laid and how we can read the CT and what are the different components of uh, CT circuit. Uh, we will discuss in detail. It's very simple. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a common saying that CT circuit should never be open and it should always remain closed or shorted. So if CT is kept open or it became open because of any reason, then uh, simply there will be high voltage induced CT will saturate and it will uh, cause CT to blast damage or burning fire so you have to make a special care about the CT circuit that CT circuit should never be open here uh, this is very simple diagram mm, uh, CT is installed in the uh, switch yard or uh, GIS uh, room here we can see the CT star point is from LCC so this is the dia e02 and this is the lcc ct is uh, you can see the ct star point here is shown is from lcc itself these are the terminals we can see xdc t112 ir iy ib and in these are the four terminals red current yellow current blue current and neutral current and the ct ratio is mentioned ct ratio specifications are mentioned here uh, currently we have chosen uh, ct ratio uh, it it's a multi ratio ct 201 is on the primary side if this current is up here then one ampere will be at secondary side so we have chosen uh, the tap at 200 so 200 tap selected it means when 200 primary current will flow 1 ampere will be flowing at the secondary side and if 100 ampere is flowing at primary side then 0.5 ampere will be flowing to secondary side and accordingly uh, as per the ratios VA burden is 30 VA so when you will discuss CT in detail then I will explain what is the meaning of VA burden and then we have a class 5P20 this is production class so again when you were discussing CT in detail we can discuss this in detail again this CT is coming from panel LCC panel which is called local control cubicle uh, actually CT first of all is coming up to uh, is coming from CT marshalling box to LCC panel which has not been shown here but it's nevertheless if you open the LCC panel drawing the further detail you can find from LCC itself which will not be different okay so here you can see this four currents are uh, four wires through four uh, are, are connected from LCC to our production panel RP panel here you can see in RV panel that uh, we have a terminal block uh, X1-2, 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have a shorting links which uh, where we can make, I, I will just explain that what is the purpose of these uh, shorting links. Then we have a test block and we will discuss also how we can uh, what is the purpose of it and how we can use it and then we have differential F87 relay so the CT input is connected to this relay uh, okay we will start from the shorting link here uh, actually uh, uh, for example if you are working on a live station and you want to replace this relay has become defective and you have not you are not able to get the shutdown so what you can replace it at live also so what will be the process first of all you have to close this link this link will be close this link will be close and the third link also will be close now the all the current red current will come from this terminal and it will go back to neutral and effectively through clamp on you have to measure current here 
at this point and this current will be zero and if you measure the current at this point you will find the current is flowing here for example i suppose that 50 percent line is all is loaded so 0.5 ampere will be here and at this point will be zero ampere so it means now the ct circuit is successfully shorted here you can now replace the relay or if you want to okay uh, one option is not shown here which is called isolation so there is one contact here also which is a sliding contact so i will draw like this for example so this sliding contact you have to slide it and open these circuits so it will this is providing you this is providing us the shorting facility okay and the other this is the isolation facility okay so you will make short first then isolate and you will through clap on make sure uh, before isolating that current is successfully shorted and there is no current then you will make isolation and then you can make if you want to make any wiring uh, modification here testing on load testing you can do it here so i will now move further Uh, for example now this is a test block again this is very simple so in this one you will when you will insert the test block what will happen then this 21 and 22 when you will insert the plug it will isolate 21 and 22 it mean after insertion of the plug so these there will be no contact between 21 and 22 it will make isolation from the yard side so what is a yard side where you have equipment stall switch yard this is the yard side and i will take this circle is a yard side and this i will take it as a relay side this square is a relay side here and when you insert the plug what will happen is simply that this point will be open triangle will be open there will be no electrical contract so these points will be shown in the triangle this point will be open when you insert the plug plastic will come inside these two points to isolate it so this is the isolation so here what what is the process of connecting your equipment for example i want to inject uh, simply this is my uh, equipment and i want to inject current uh, to red face to ground so simply i will connect my second edition kit one terminal at 22 for example this is red phase and other one is 28 so here simply if for example this is our current element and setting is one ampere if i inject from here from the current source this is my secondary injection test set so if I inject one ampere current will follow simply uh, this path from here to here through this element it will then travel back to the neutral and it will go back to the source so this will be the path of the current and in this way you can inject the current and test the relay further so uh, another thing is uh, in this drawing you cannot see uh, star point ct star point grounding uh, in this case uh, uh, i will show you a ct should be grounded at one terminal so let's see if we can make a ground here i want to make a ground at the end so i will try to make a symbol this is CT star point grounding. Okay, for example, this is the symbol of CT star point grounding. If it is, is grounded at multiple points, so what could happen if we have two star points? For example, a person by mistake make a grounding at two points 
so what could happen uh, in this case you can see easily there will be a two paths for the current one path is this one neutral current one path is this one another path will be for example here this is the current path in the yellow side okay and this is a conductor so another path will be this one so if we have a neutral element here for example if we have a neutral element here this is neutral element okay then current will be divided between the, uh, this path and the earth path so it is mandatory that there should be only one grounding single point grounding is tested normally when we are testing CD circuit and another thing is if you want to okay if you want to do the CT loop now this is one uh, one uh, one situation of the CT's CT circuit if you want to perform CT loop so what what is a suggested uh, method that if you can have to uh, put your second uh, second injection test set at the last point preferably at the CT marshalling box but I am showing here as per the drawing from LCC here so I will connect my leads at this terminal red yellow blue okay and neutral and I will inject different currents here not a single current for example 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere and unbalanced current will be appearing at the neutral and you can just check by that and if you check uh, at for example this is your injection at LCC you have to check your injection here and you have to if this is red phase 1 ampere should appear here and it will appear if the system is healthy and this is yellow phase should be appearing here you can see 2 ampere blue phase here in the CT loop to verify 3 ampere should appear here so this is the simple method of uh, uh, CT loop and there is another thing which is called uh, uh, core, uh, core identification uh, in which you, you know that there are a lot of cores of CT are used so one by one uh, each uh, cores are shorted to verify that uh, okay this is production core is only fit into production and both are not swept vice versa this is when you are doing primary injections especially so this is the uh, introduction about the CT circuit and I hope uh, I try my best to deliver the best knowledge and later on we will see VT circuit and CT and VT itself. Thanks for, uh, for your time and uh, for the next time, uh, goodbye and please subscribe to our channel, Cash Tech. Goodbye.